What's up, everybody? It's Joe from The Acceptable Casualties. I uh, just wanted to jump on here and uh, do a little video to kind of help you guys out. Some tips on doing spears and pikes for uh, 15 millimeter ancients. Uh, I know if any of you guys have tried to do it with the metal piano wire or anything along those lines, it could be a bit frustrating and sometimes a little bit on the uh, fragile side as far as falling off your models. So I just wanted to give you guys a little uh, rundown on how I've discovered a, a better way to possibly do it for me at least, and maybe it'll help you guys out a little bit in the future. So I'll be back in a flash to show you guys what I was doing. All right, so uh, here we have the uh, 15 millimeter Parthian cataphracts that I'm working on right now. I originally set these guys uh, with piano wire for their spears, but they kept falling off just messing around doing games when I, weren't, when I was just trying to learn the rules and stuff like that, like bumping in the models and doing everything. And uh, the pikes and spears and the lances, they would just fall off constantly. I'd be re-gluing and doing all of it. I was getting a little frustrated with it, so I tried to find a better way to do it, and I uh, kind of came up with this, and I figured I'd pass it along to you guys uh, just in case um, if, if this would work better for you. I know for me, um, I'll, I'll probably never go back to doing the metal spears and stuff like that again after, after starting to do this. So if you look down here, it looks like little pieces of spaghetti that I'm using uh, attached to these guys' hands. And uh, actually, what they are is, let me pull it in the frame here, they're little plastic um, brush hairs that you get from one of these. If you go to your uh, local hardware store, usually you can find them on um, like the utility brushes, pretty much. And I think you can get like toilet scrub brush or whatever. And um, if you guys can see a little bit closer there, I mean, I've done three armies and I've only cut off two batches of the uh, of the hairs for this thing. So um, what I end up doing to set these off, uh, to set these up a little bit better, is I'll file in between. Let me see if I can pull this guy up. Um, let's see if I can get into focus too. Um, Come on, work with me. There you go. Yeah, I'll, what I'll do is I'll file down the middle of the hands a little bit, just enough to form like a little groove. I'll use uh, one of the really thin like knife edge uh, metal files and I'll, uh, I'll file down a little groove inside the hand and then I'll uh, put a little bit of um, this gel glue that works really good on metal if you guys can get your hands on it. It's uh, extra thick, t uh, 10 to 25 second curing glue. I know uh, here they have this place called Hobby Town where I go, but usually you can find it in some other places too. And it works really good for uh, plastics and it, it, it works good for metal too. Even putting together MDF terrain, if you don't want to wait for the white glue to dry, that works really good too. It gives you enough uh, time as far as uh, when it cures to give you a little bit of wiggle room as far as um, setting and making adjustments uh, when you're putting together your models or just doing stuff like this as well. But um, yes, yeah, so what I was back, back to what I was talking about. So when, um, Put these in there. I'll put a little bit of glue in that uh, groove in the hand that I filed down, and I'll do another little dab of glue, usually on the foot or boot, and get two uh, two places to glue down. And I'll just place the straw in there, and it, it sits really well, super sturdy. I mean, I just did these. I don't know, watch it. This will probably backfire right in my face right now. So where where is it? So yeah, but I can bend this thing around, and it's not gonna it's not breaking off his hand. So um, you don't have to worry about dropping the model upside down. Usually they bend and they just stay. Or um, you know, instead of it have just pop out of his hands, they're flexible enough where they're not going to snap and they're not going to break. So I don't know, I figured I'd just pass this along to you guys. If any of you guys get as frustrated as I used to get as far as putting this, uh, putting the spears and stuff on there for like my Greeks or for my Parthians or, or any uh, ancients army or even medieval stuff that you end up doing. So yeah, get the little brush hairs, um, just cut a bunch off. You can cut them down the size and like literally that one brush cost me like six bucks and I'll have enough of these things to, to do armies for a lifetime. So uh, just pass that along to you guys. Hope it helps some of you guys out with your modeling. Um, if you guys got any other ideas or any other tips for uh, stuff that you guys do at home and want to pass along, I'd be glad to try some different stuff out because uh, I know modeling for 15 mil for ancients and stuff like that, um, it can be, uh, be a little difficult because everything's metal. You don't get a lot of plastic, so there's not a lot of uh, give and leeway as far as working with the models. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Drop some comments down there and uh, we'll do it again later.